I've played many older games from time to time on the channel, but this one isn't. It's a modern love letter to arcade sims of the past, right down to the DOS startup. Think Desert Strike crossed with Apache Longbow and you're in the right wheelhouse, with crisp 320x200 resolution graphics VGA and VGA options, a choice of free helicopters, and exploding camels. So okay then, nothing to see here. Today we're going to give a quick go at a mission in the campaign. So we're opening up with Strike the Golf. We're going to use the Apache lookalike, the Avenger, for this one. And here we are on the deck of our Thunder Helix cruiser. And yes, it's all crisp, big, chunky pixels. And I think it's still got a bit of charm to it, uh, despite, you know, being the limitation of days past. Now, we should have some targets down along here if I open the map. So we have beach A, B and C for our targets, and then further out somewhere out here there are... Well, there's the airbase, and that's the SAM site. And then there's a radio tower somewhere out here, maybe here. And that's our mission for today. So, I'm going to hop back to the cockpit and start running down the coast. So we've got our first two targets on the right there, and I'm just going to go switch over to the truck, and I'm going to point up, if you have a look at the gun underneath, to independently tracking, and also the, uh, the rocket pods there. Rotate to keep target. Just like the real thing, no less, and... Let's see if we can line the cannon up and just get rid of them. You can see a target preview on the the uh, screen there. Now, I've got one more thing here, a fuel truck. And we're going to play with him. So there'll be drop down. Oh, here we go. Now, unlike the real Apache, we do have a winch. So needless to say, shenanigans are going to ensue. Let's grab this guy. The flight physics are a little bit weird. It, uh, it's the throttle controls your altitude. It just sets whether you're going up or down or staying perfectly level. Whilst the uh, flight stick, still too high, sets to your speed in each direction too much. So it's a little bit odd compared to what you'd expect from a flight sim. There we go. So now we've got a fuel truck underneath us. Oops. And needless to say, we can drop that. And I have tried to hit vehicles in the past with limited success. There's a truck up ahead. Um, he's going to shoot at me though, so... Let's just take him out. There we go. And let's just get rid of this truck in the ocean. Goodbye. Splash. Alright, anyway, we're going to carry on down. All the way down the coast to find the last target set. So this time round, let's hit up the targets with a missile. So I'm going to press and fire. I'm still going to control the helicopter in the background. So the missile goes into target. And there you go. One less AA tank to worry about. And I think there's still one more target down there, a truck. So, once again, just finish him off with a gun. Alright, that was objective complete, so I think we're now heading inland. We've got some secondary explosions. To the radio tower, so let's fly over there. You know, it's funny, but I never really thought I'd miss the triangle pyramid hills of old video games. But they really have captured the, uh, the spirit of retro games really nicely with all the convenience of modern controls and uh, graphics in some respects. Right, there's the radio tower, uh, AA tank, so let's deal with him first. We're also going to target the tank and fire a second missile. I do wish I could control the camera right about now, but it's static. So we can see our first missile, those couple of pixels. There it goes. And our second. And I think it's just the radio tower to worry about, so I'm going to hop into the front and 
let's spend some rockets. Try and mine it up. A few hits, but the tower still stands. There you go. And down it goes. All uh, all sixty odd pixels of it. There we go. <laughs> Got a tank taking pot shots at us. Uh, he's not part of the mission though, so gonna ignore him. In fact, that is our objective. Zoom in a bit. You can see just how heavily divvered everything is. I quite actually quite love it, although sometimes I wish I had a few more pixels to play with just so I could see better. See, it's one of those games that is truly low resolution and uh, not just pretending. We've got a lock on. Uh, is that white circle is a missile. Did I get it? No. Defeated. There you go. And that over there is a helicopter. Pop off a missile and I'm going to try and get behind cover. There you go. That's a hind down. And pop back up. In fact, the explosion effects are rendered on top of the, tr the uh, hill there. Now that's a fun one, because some older video games that happened. I don't know if that's intentional design or not. Uh, let's pop up. There's a radar unit. We definitely want that dead. Sand launcher, I want that dead. And uh, we'd best be in the cockpit for this. So I've let myself come down, come up too high. And countermeasures. Ooh. We're all good. What? Let's uh, control the altitude though. Tank, AA, and what's the other one? Ammunition tank, tank, tank. Radar unit, there we go. Let's get that one. And also take out the AA. Stabilise the helicopter. I do wish, like I said, I could control the camera here. Quite a few explosions. And dead again. Alright, and we are down to just our rockets and our gun now, so I hope there's nothing more uh, dangerous. On the pads down there. A tank to our right. Fuel trucks, they're not exactly a threat, and there's an AA tank. Right, um, I guess we're going to go in with the rockets. Oh, I should only need to line up the crosshair horizontally, the rest should be done with by the elevation of the pods rotating. Yep, and he's dead. And now, it's just those fuel trucks down there, and I bet you if I blow up one of them, they'll all explode. So let's drop down and hit them, and let's gun them down. Yep, they'll blow up. Now, if I'm lucky, there'll be something to rearm myself on here. This is the uh, helicopter strike, desert strike type mechanic. So we've got ammunition there, just like the truck earlier. We'll be able to pick that up with the winch. line ourselves up, winch down, ammunition up. Oh there's a, uh, what is that, an F-16 look-alike. And let's get the fuel over here. There we go. And head on to the next mission which was Airfield SAM site. So it's a good thing I picked up some more missiles. I'm going to need them for this. And that there looks like it's the SAM site. Truck SAM launcher. Yep. So pop off a missile on that one. And that'll be another SAM launcher. And let's start getting ourselves under cover. 
before the return fire comes in. That's my missile going in. So we got a nice hit there. Truck. Hey, I, I always forget that this uh, sim doesn't have momentum so much. It's You see, I stopped there. I expected to keep on going with my flight simulator mind. But uh, it's very much set by the angle of the pitch and you, you sort of go at the continuous speed that you set. So if I set it to the middle, it'll stop itself rather than drifting, which is a little bit odd to me. But it does make it relatively easy and approachable for all players. Personally, I think I prefer an advanced mode where it does have a bit more whoop, full physics. Let's get that missile off and get out of here. Straight into range of an AA missile, uh, an AA tank. Alright, where's the next launcher? There's one. Another. And we have a few missiles. Whoops, we got too close and greedy. And splat. Alright, well, uh, let's try that again. Alright, here we are then, back at the SAM site. And that's not a high threat. Fuel, fuel, truck, AA tank, let's shoot him down. And yes, uh, don't mind George, I bought him for good luck. And let's take him out. I think I got all the launchers last time. So I got a secondary explosion there. Oh no, there is a sand launcher. Let's get him quickly before he pops another missile at us. I think that shut him up. Anything else left? Looks like there's one at the far side. So let's put a missile on him and on the on the AA truck. That's quite a lean there. I don't know if it's going to make it. Well done. Good, good job there, missile. See, uh, George down there is definitely bringing me the luck then. Convoy spotted heading east. Okay then. Now, I need to intercept. I assume that big black line there is going to be the road it's driving along. If it's heading east, I'm going to cut it off and get in front of it. Let's go this way. There they are, that's the convoy. Moving at quite a rate as well. Right, one missile off. And let's drop some rockets on the rest of them. Don't know how much I'm going to lead this, just have to see how it goes. And I can't put my nose down any further unfortunately. Ooh, we're taking shots. So let's uh, get away from that guy. Don't you shoot George. Yeah, unfortunately we fell foul of the flight model there. I couldn't get my nose down far enough. Because there isn't a flight model, it's just kind of a set pitch for speed. And I just couldn't get my nose on target. Alright, there's the truck. Put some missiles on him. And there's the old school zoom. Alright, and let's finish off that truck. And I think you might be able to guess where this one's going. Alright. Go get him, George. Oop. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so as you can probably tell, it's not a super serious sim or anything like that. It is just an arcade, silly lovely sort of homage to the past, an old game. Uh, destroy or head home. And I do truly love it for that. It's not something I would play on, uh, say, my PC. Or, uh, it's, it's something I think much better suited to if you just want a quick bit of fun. And in my case, it definitely is that. So I'll definitely be using it up on, uh, on a low-performance laptop or uh, on the go on my Steam Deck. But my PC, less so. Right then, let's put this down on the pad.
Oops. This always catches me out the way the physics behave. I said it's not a true helicopter physics flight model. It's kind of like hanging off a piece of string and setting the angle and rate at which you want to move. So down we go. Oh, she's the uh, the ship's actually moving. And mission complete. Although I'm not on the deck anymore. All right. Well, I think I found a bug. <laughs> <laughs> so campaign one strike the gulf 32 minutes 38 kills all primary objectives complete congratulations pilot you've successfully driven back the enemy forces in sector k6 and liberated the locals from oppression you've also adequately demonstrated the capabilities of the felix in phoenix of the helix foundation to handle these kinds of situations the top brass are impressed we expect to do business with them again in the coming months. Well done. Wonder Helix launches into early access in a few days time on March 21st. So if it's your kind of thing, be sure to check it out. Links are found below. I hope you've enjoyed and take care. <laughs>